Uh, I'm representing uh, the Deep Law Foundation, uh, which is an NGO in Malta concerned with uh, uh, internet governance issues. And we are here mainly to uh, understand the current status of the IGF process, the first IGF, and we want exa to, to know, to enhance our understanding of the diplomatic process that's going on between different stakeholders on how they want to shape the future of the internet and to see how we can um, voice the concerns uh, uh, that civil society has about the future of the internet and the governance regime that's uh, uh, being made now here, prepared. Frankly, I don't think that internet governance will work because what's happening here is only um, a power struggle between so many stakeholders trying to control as much of the medium as they can. And I think that this contradicts with the main uh, principle of the internet, which is openness, uh, fostering innovation, keeping things as open as possible. So the point is because so many people have so many different agendas and they conflict in so many areas, so I think that it's almost impossible to reach a consensus on how this global framework, uh, the internet governance framework, uh, should look like. And I would rather say it's the best way forward is to keep the internet now, the time being, as open as possible for the next generation who will grow up with the internet internalized in their understandings, in their agendas. Those people understand what is the internet uh, much better than we do. And then they will do... Uh, they would do a much better job in governing and managing the internet. But if we do anything now, I believe that uh, having uh, looked into the current situation and, and uh, the, some of the different agendas of different stakeholders, I think what we are doing is only limiting the internet, impairing the development, the, uh, the potential that it has for innovation and development. I think they will try to do that uh, for the uh, first phase of the process. They will try to achieve a consensus. They will try to build a, a, a system for, for internet governance, a framework. But then they will realize that the differences are huge and they can't come to um, anywhere in between. And this this where the, the system will collapse and it will never work. No, I think the forums are important, but we have to look at what we are discussing in these forums. That needs to be considered because I think it's, uh, it's only currently a forum for people to come and voice their own opinions of what they think the Internet should be, what they think the Internet has to be. But I, th I personally think that the Internet, no one has the authority to decide what the Internet has to be. It evolved and it has to continue to evolve. And if there are any problems, then these problems only should be solved and not the whole internet. Okay. And we have also to consider that we shouldn't uh, ask f to do on the internet things we couldn't do in real world. So we still have conflicts in the real world. We still have problems, so many problems. So don't tell me that you will solve everything online while it's not solved in real life. If you, if you fail to do it there, then you will never, ever have a chance of doing it electronically. Um, I hope for the internet to be the empowering tool for, for the people that didn't have a voice in the past, for people who were, uh, who were disadvantaged. I would love to see the internet, and I think it is able to be uh, the empowerment tool that will that enable people in the South to innovate, to improve, to create their own uh, cultural wealth, to create their own networks, and then connect with every other culture, every other uh, nation, on the basis of uh, equality. This is what I hope the Internet will do, and I think it is able, but we have to be very careful not to intervene too much that we uh, hinder this process. My greatest fear is increased control 
by governments or corporations or whoever imposes controls on the internet because uh, I think control will block innovation. And if, if we are so happy and so excited about the internet in, in its current state, that's because it, was, it wasn't blocked. Innovation was enabled for everyone. Everything was so open. We shouldn't try to close things. So I'm, I fear uh, closure and block, blocking of innovation and uh, improvement of the internet and openness. Mm, openness. Great. Thank you so much. Lee. Thank you.